on our boards. I think um, Mr. Martin passed out something via the email. Yes, sir. I emailed to you work today um, the written language of what we had talked about in the work session. Um, you see there another copy of the letter from Dallas Mayor Gale, also the handout which lists those three different samples of attendance policies. Um, one of them we talked about the work session, which was the policy adopted by the Zoning Board of Appeals. We took that version and then massaged the language to fit the Planning Commission. So what you have before you under the proposed attendance policy is that language. Uh, basically says, um, differentiates between excused and unexcused absences at the discretion of the chairman. And the member is afforded to have no more than three consecutive unexcused absences and no more than four unexcused absences during the calendar year. And I have to emphasize that's unexcused absences. Um, if that does occur, then the chairman will, um, will notify the member of government that we have a problem with attendance with that member and then request a replacement. Um, like we talked about the work session, um, all the appointed boards are being affected by the request from the city. Um, this is a shared board, and it's in our case five member governments. Um, makes it a little bit more awkward to come up with a policy when you have five different governments at the table. Um, our board does not have an attendance issue and hasn't had one for 20 years, so I don't see that being a problem. And it's a fairly generous policy, the way it is worded. I believe that in the work session we deleted the part where the chairman uh, gives excuses or notify the chairman and said it was just going to be an administrative well, we didn't specify that you have to notify the chairman. It's just the chairman determines the excused versus unexcused. Logistically, it would work the same way it has worked all along, is typically the members will notify one of staff, mm -hmm. and we share amongst ourselves and certainly with the chairman. Um, and that includes the reason why the member won't be here. And then we simply noted in the attendance log, and my guess is if the attendance log shows a member that hasn't been here in six months, then we go back and look to see why. And if there's a problem, then I think staff's mode of operation would be then to discuss it with you at the, at the upcoming meeting. And just basically to let you know that there's a problem, the chairman can confirm that as excused versus unexcused, and then we can act accordingly. It's the bottom part, down here. Mm -hmm. yeah. proposed, proposed GOPC attendance policy. attendance policy on the floor. Is there any other discussion on this attendance policy? Mr. Chair, on the, uh, as a point of clarification where it says, one place it says regular meetings, the other uh, total meetings. Uh, right. This applies only to regular meeting attendance where a form is needed correctly, oh, like yeah. we're having tonight. Work right. sessions are not included in the count. I see. Even though we note attendance at work sessions just for record keeping sake, but it, they're not counted. Very good. All right, any other discussion on the attendance policy? Under the proposed then is uh, should it should it say state that so that there's no problem as far as the work session versus the Public hearing. Well, we could insert the word regular in front of where it says in the middle. Um, for either three consecutive regular meetings or more than four total regular meetings during the calendar year. We could clarify that one. Four regular regular meetings. Four regular or four total regular meetings. There you go. All right. We have a policy.
also on floor with a noted addition to the final record meeting. Can we get a motion from the commissioners? I'll make a motion if we uh, make the adjustment we were just talking about to the uh, to the staff recommendation at the bottom of the page on item number seven of the agenda item. And we recommend that to the county commissioners. <coughs> We have a motion and a second for the attendance policy. Any discussion on the motion? Sir, you want to take it to the county commissioners? I don't. You don't have to take it. We can do it. This is something we're going to do internally. Well, it's, it's an adopted policy by this board. Um, okay. Part of the confusion in this, like you see in the packet, there was already language in the Valdosta regulations that stipulated the attendance policy. Not all five member governments had such language. So it's just going to be a, a... It's a board thing. A board, okay. I made the motion to approve it. It's a, not a recommendation, but we'll approve it. With the uh, modification that was discussed earlier about we insert a regular commission meeting, all right, we have a motion and a second. There being no other discussion, all those in favor, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously. The, uh, the next item on the agenda.